Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, we solve a lot of problems on this channel, and we discuss a lot of algorithms. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button under this video because that helps me create this content for you guys. Awesome, so let's get started with today's problem, same tree from leak code. Awesome, so the question asks, given two binary trees, write a function to check if they're the same or not. So I'll walk through three examples and um, explain what they're looking for. So if we look at these two trees, by the way, this is P in the input and this is Q. And we're given these two trees and we need to check if all the values in those trees are the same or not. And by same, they have to be in the exact same uh, spot in both cases. So this is P dot left should be equal to q dot left and p dot right should be equal to q dot right. So if this is the case, we can see that the output is true here um, and that's what we need to return. Okay, and the second example shows a case where the tree is not symmetric and that's because um, we have here p dot right over here is null, so there is nothing there, and q dot left is null here. So when we compare two with null, so if we're comparing p dot left and q dot left, so we're comparing two is not equal to null. So we need to return false in this case. And then the third example is where we have um, sort of the positioning of the um, nodes are node values are not the same so that's when we need to return false as well so here you can see if you go p dot left you're you have a two and then q dot left you have a one here okay so with this in mind let's formulate an intuition to solve this problem the easiest way to approach this type of problem is by using recursion and if you're new to recursion, this is a good problem to get started and uh, practice recursion because this is one of the easy level problems that really gets your mind thinking in that recursive um, solutioning way. So with every recursive function, what we need to have is a base case. And this is the case where we need to tell the computer, okay, stop, we have what we need, um, let's return. And for this problem, the base case is going to be when we have compared all the nodes in the tree and we are at a node that's null. And if, if the P um, node is null, as well as the Q node is null, right? So if they're both null, then we can return true because we have compared that side of the tree and we are um, we need we have done everything we can and there has been nothing that stopped our pro progress from saying oh this these um, nodes are in equal so then what we need to do is create that um, stopping point where we return uh, false and say hey this node is not equal to this node so for example if there was another value here instead of two and if we're comparing node two um, then what we would do is we would say, oh, okay, if the p value is not equal to, to the q value, then just return false. We don't need to check further. We are done here. Um, this is a condition that we are able to return false to and um, not look any further down the tree. So that is something that we need to place after our, we have checked the base case. Right? So this is going to be uh, the first thing we have in our function. If they're both null, return true. If the values don't match, then we are going to return false. And the third condition here is if one of them is null and one of the nodes is not null that we're comparing, we also need to return false. So let's walk through this example. Here we have um, four dot left is null here right um, and let's imagine over here that for the left is not null right so here let's say we have um, like a six or something okay <laughs> let's let's cross this out so yeah let's let's imagine that there's a value there and then there's no value here so if p is null and q is not null then we need to return false. So this is another case we need to keep in mind. Similarly, if there was something over here, um, let me just go back. 
yeah, so similarly, if there was something over here where we have from this place p dot left is 6, and then q dot left here, there is something null, right? So again, this is not, this does not make the tree symmetric. So if this is the case, um, then the values don't match, and we also need to return false. Okay, so these are the three conditions we need to keep in mind when we are testing if um, p is the same tree as q. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the code. Awesome, so I'm back in the code and what I've done here is I have written down the steps that we discussed as part of our solutioning. And the first thing I'm gonna do is write our base case. So um, if p is equal to null, and q is equal to null, then we are going to go ahead and return true. So again, this is when we are at the bottom of um, our trees and they're both equal to null, they're, there's no more left to do, so this is when we're going to return. Um, and this is our base case. And if it goes through the entire function and it doesn't have any mismatches, that's when we will return this true. Um, so now let's write the cases where we can foresee any of those mismatches happening. Um, so I'm going to say if one of them is um, null, for example, so if p is equal to, if p is equal to null um, and q is not equal to null or if we have a case where q is equal to null and p is not equal to null then what we can do is return false right away because we know that there is a mismatch and we don't need to keep going. So I'm going to say return false. Okay, and then the next case is if the values actually don't match. So if we have a case here where um, there's a two here and there's like a five there, so we need to return false for that as well. We'll say if p dot val is not equal to q dot val, then go ahead and return false. Okay, and now the last thing that's left to do is um, to call the recursion on the right side of the tree and the left side of the tree. So what we need to do is we will call this function and we will pass it um, p dot left and q dot left. So we are comparing now node by node all the uh, left children of each of the values. So for example, here p dot left is two, and q dot left is also two. So it didn't um, it didn't match any of these. Um, conditions where we return false and then the recursion will keep going until it either hits the base case or one of these conditions where we say um, hey this is a mismatch return false so we need to do this on the left side we need to compare all the nodes in the left side as well as all the nodes on the right side so we'll say is same and is same tree on p dot right and q dot right. Okay, and we can just return this right away because um, our if statements are returning the boolean that we need to pass to the final answer. And since we are checking exact match of both sides, that's why we have the and condition here because both calls um, both sides need to match each other and that's how we can determine if it's the same tree or not. Alright, so with this, 
let's go ahead and give this a run and make sure everything's okay okay I have some issues here unexpected token okay I need another bracket Okay, wrong code. Okay, awesome. Accepted. Submit. Yay, success!